we ready? I'm Tay Day. Many people know me for the song Chocolate Rain, which went viral on YouTube. Chocolate Rain. The school books say it can't be here again. Chocolate Rain. The prisons make you wonder where it went. I wish I could tell a story that I was running through the forest and wolves were nipping at my heels. I came into a clearing and a light just shone down from the sky. Saying, of course, songwriting is never like that. I had been singing at open mics around Minneapolis, so I was like, hey, why don't I film myself? I might reach a bigger audience. And I guess the rest, as they say, is history. I grew up in a biracial household. My mom's black, my dad's white. We never talked to each other, referred to each other as black and white. So it was a little bit of a shock to go out into the world as I became a teenager, like, wait, there are these things and they don't really speak to my life or who I know human beings to be. I guess overall, Chocolate Rain was intended as a ballad about institutional racism. Chocolate Rain. The same crime has a higher price to pay. Chocolate Rain. The judge and jury swear it's not the face. I don't think there is a specific thing that you have to get or not get about Chocolate Rain. My songs are like my children and it's like you are pregnant with a child, you give birth to that child, and then immediately you put that child up for adoption by the public. There were no breadcrumbs to follow when Chocolate Rain went viral. I couldn't ask myself, what did Antoine Dodson do? These examples did not exist at that time. So everything was trying to figure it out for the first time. The whole world was interested in me. Three of the four major labels at the time wanted to sign me to a record deal. Literary agents wanted to sign me to write books. I went from being a teaching assistant at the University of Minnesota to suddenly being recognized worldwide. There was a surreal aspect to it. At first I thought going viral would just be like a national news story. It would blow over and those couple weeks of my life would be all they amounted to. But it kept going and going like the Energizer Bunny. Dr. Pepper approached me to write a song about diet cherry chocolate Dr. Pepper. They didn't like any of the songs that I made. They said, why don't we just do this song you've already done? And they did a fancy video. Don't rain, listen to the funky rhymes I weep. I was at an ad agency and someone runs up to me and says, hey, you were a case study in my college marketing textbook. People are taught about that in colleges now. Rain. now I'm paid a hefty, hefty fee. All of my life, I have never struggled to be unique. Pre-fame, after fame, I'm like Big Bird. I can't hide. In some ways, the achievement that my heart has always longed for is just being regular, being an everyday guy. I have been very lucky to work in entertainment for the decade following Chocolate Rain. I sing, I act, I do voice work, and it has been a very lucky calling card when I am considered for a project, I'm already somewhat a known factor. I can turn these lights off and turn the overhead lights on and turn the lights on back there to Let's see, what, what happens when I Google chocolate rain? Oh, there we go. Kohili says, I love this song. Well, thank you, Drav. I, I, maybe I love you back, I haven't met you. Why so many dislikes old, but in gold, I tried to bleep that for you. Fire mixtape, my dude. Uh, Anan Yaimos says that. I don't know what that means. If you skip 10 seconds every time, you hear chocolate rain every time. There you go, Chaz is playing a little game with the video. Oh, hey, hey, you know, hey. King Emperor Botov Zane is my beard. This is one of the original YouTube videos that went viral. So there you have it right there on the authority of King Emperor in the YouTube comments. Kids now live in this reality where anything they post can go viral. We're still processing this as a society. What does this mean? Because it's something that can happen to literally anybody at any moment.